Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look inside of the uh, one of the two releases for the Bringing Back Traveler, the classic 1980s role-playing science fiction game from uh, Far Future Enterprises, Mark Miller. Uh, the first was, uh, or one is, uh, the Traveler customizable card game, and then this one was kickstarted several years ago, finally came to fruition by Daring Play. Uh, and it's published by Lost uh, Battalion Games, and it's Traveler Ascension Imperial Warrant. And this is the base game. Um, we're just going to take a look at this. This is what you get at retail. Uh, the the Kickstarter version came with the you know, expansions and a nice box, a case, and things like that. So but we're going to take a look at what the retail copy is going to have in it and uh, crack the seal on it. This one is so full, it appears to be cracking. The seal on its own already, so we'll just dive right in there. Get some of the shrink wrap off of here. And basically the sound. So this is a two-player, uh, just two? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is a two-player game. Uh, and it notes on here that Expansion 1 adds two players for up to four, and Expansion 2 adds two more players for up to six. So. Uh, so obviously it's a two to six player game with the expansions, but this base game comes with it's four two players. So well, this looks like something kind of shifted because this side's a little higher. It's where it burst out, so I think something probably shifted as it was being prepared. So hopefully there's no damage inside, but we will see. Yeah, contents just lifted up a little bit. Box seems okay though. All right. So let's figure out the best way to do this here. All right, so first thing we got on top here is a, looks like a combat board. Got fixed, moving, spotted, unspotted. Uh, and then both sides seem to have a sensors, missiles, attack, range, and target as the order of, I'm just, again, I've not played this yet. I've not studied this yet. I'm just showing what's in the box. We will do a playthrough video uh, hopefully very soon. So, all right. So you get a battle board, it looks like. You got a standee assembly guide. Caution, do not use glue. Love that they're including standees. All right, so I don't know how much influence Lost Battalion has. Lost Battalion's the guys that did Sergeant's D-Day in the Sergeant's Miniatures game. Sergeant's D-Day uses a uh, uh, you know, laser cut uh, standee system for the soldiers, a little smaller scale. Sergeant's Ventures game obviously uses 10 millimeter, I think it's 10 millimeter or 6 millimeter metal pre painted miniatures. So, all right, so we got the rule book. It is on kind of a stiff stock. I sure it looks like we've got inserts in here too. So let's take those out. Just look at the rule book. It's on a thick, full color stock. Large print, as you can see. Um, comes in at 36 pages, including a glossary, a cross reference. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of, obviously, look like card piles here one through six, one for each player. Nice artwork. And we have a, these are on kind of a glossy, they're not plastic, but they're very glossy coated stock, right? So there's your reference sheet. Tells you about the system panels, world panels, outposts, different ships, soldiers, assets. It's two-sided. Tells you how to set up the game, quick start guide. Excellent. And then we have a scenario book for the base game. The same stock as the uh, rule book so cardstock cover paper inside full color looks like there's nine nine scenarios no page numbers just scenario numbers okay. all right so we apparently have got cards now here's where some of the lost battalion influence is coming in and we've got some uh, laser cut pieces here. 
We've got these trays, which the cards were shipped, kind of sitting like that, lifted up. So they they've provided something similar to this for uh, uh, Sergeant's Games series. So these these collapsible, they come pre-assembled. In this case, very nice, glossy. So some of the thicker materials appear to be in that realm of you know, thick uh, laser cut. So we got a turn track that goes from one to 10, flips over and goes to 11 to 20. These I assume are bases for some of the figures. We'll have to see about that. We got cards. So we have a base action deck two, base action deck one. Okay, we'll look at those in a minute. We have a secret deck, which is TA base secret deck with 32 cards. These reach 48 cards. So I'm really liking the the production values here. Everything looks like it's pre-punched too, which is nice. Okay, these are connectors. There's a whole bag of these that connect these various sector tiles. You see there, the board gets built out either during the game or before the game, but these will lay like this and then these connector paths will, will go into those pre-punched holes. So, Interesting to see how this goes. Hopefully it's gonna be like any war game. Easy as solo. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Goodness gracious. Alright. So we got some more markers. Revolt markers. And then these are ship. These are plastic. Looks like ship bases. They are plastic with a label on them, it would appear. So there's going to something's going to slide on there. It says this has 12 tech and two jump, right? So and it's going to slot in there, but it's definitely plastic. Sector 10, sector 10. Looks like they slide on and go into the ship bases. There's a lot piled in here. Let's look at the connectors. Here are ships. You got Traveler Ascension, you got two cruisers, four destroyers, six scouts, and then we've got diplomats, six diplomats, six shadow agents, and four soldiers. And these are printed also on clear plastic. And then with the instruction sheet, it'll show us how to put those together. The uh, one nice thing here is the, I'm not going to open this because it's sealed, it's on a Ziploc, but the uh, the soldiers and the diplomats and the shadow agents, they're cut around the shape of the figure. Pretty close, so it's not like a big rectangle with a picture on it. So that's pretty cool. We've got two budget tracker cards that were just kind of like loose in the box. We have a deck of shadow agent cards, There's 32 of those. We have Base ship deck, there's 32 cards there. It's gonna have the different ship stats, including your sensors, missiles, attack range target, your smart system. We have a dry erase marker with a fine tip. That's not very fine. It's pretty poor, pretty broad actually. And then we have, let's see, These look like standee bases and some other markers. We'll get all die cut. Wow, I hope I can get this all back in the box. We have a busted rubber band. More, more uh, connectors. And these are, these have the same notches that the sector tiles had, so they'll be jump points, I guess, between sectors like this. We have seven dice and a wooden marker. Three black, three white, one red. And they're six sided and they appear to be just straight up numbered instead of pipped. <clears throat> we have smaller connectors, again, to fit something. 
for discs. So we got wormholes, black holes, comets, various anomalies. All right, so for the bag of red, we've also got a bag of blue. And I would assume that the other expansions maybe have different colors for players. All right, we have player boards. They can be built together. Can be pieced together. Military, diplomacy, shadow, science, so on and so forth. There are six of these. Economic movement. Reference cards, I guess. Here is another tray. And this one, a little worse for the wear in the shipping. I don't know if you can see it, but so it got a little bent up. But it straightens up pretty well. It doesn't seem to be permanently damaged. It's, it is the laser, the, uh, laser cut and you can tell I'm getting a little sooty. Uh, so obviously the stock is a little different than what, uh, Lost Battalion used for, what Lost Battalion used for their, um, Sergeant's game. And finally, we've got a stack of more tiles here. Now, interesting, we have... Asteroids, not asteroids, but asteroids. So I don't know if that's a medical condition or if that's supposed to be asteroids, but we will see. Special abilities, noble house, explorers, finance, mechanics, corporation versus the noble house. Apparently the two factions in here. We also have gas giants, which may be an offshoot of asteroids, I don't know. And then society. Uh, these seem to be uh, dividers to go into this container for separating out these uh, components here. So we'll get to that in a little bit. Gonna run out of time here. Let's see if I can pull something out of this. So we've got little pieces, resources. There's a lot. I keep saying it. There's a lot in this box. So we've got starport tiles, factory tiles, embassy tiles. So these are all going to be built onto the board as they go. It looks like they get stacked into this box here. There's some upside down. Planets, resources, and so these are going to get stacked into here with the dividers. So it comes like with a its own little uh, uh, insert. So lots of stuff to go through. I will work work to get a uh, play video put together and uh, get that up soon. But base game of Traveler Ascension Imperial Warrant comes with a lot of stuff that I gotta figure out what it is and when I do you will see it but that's what's gonna be in the box thanks for watching God bless you bye bye oh.